Hey friends, welcome to episode 1200 on the channel. I had uh, announced in the last video that we'll be doing something special for episode 1200. And it's a video that I've been holding off since April of this year. And I, I just, I, I'm not in the right, right mindset to film it yet. I apologize. It's probably one of the biggest, most controversial videos that I've ever done. And I just need to be in the right mindset to film it. And I just, I just haven't been. I had a really busy weekend. But anyways, episode 1200. That doesn't mean that we can't have fun in episode 1200. We're going to look at the San Jose Barracuda new jersey that they just released. Break it down a little bit. Look at four individual photos and give our thoughts. Obviously, we like to look at jerseys here on the channel. Let's get into it. With the first photo is a full frontal uh, of, uh, of the beautiful logo. One of the best logos in the AHL. In I would say even in professional hockey. Even I just I, I love, love, love that logo. You can see the affiliation to the San Jose Sharks there on the shoulder. And they've gone with a really, really light gray. Now, if you can see behind me, uh, the San Jose Sharks reverse retro is there. Very similar to that in uh, shade. Uh, it's a, it's not really a cool gray. It's very like a very natural, literal gray. Uh, there's no kind of hints of any other colors, kind of like the reverse retro, but it's a bit of a lighter gray. So I think this kind of goes in line a little bit with the, the San Jose brand, I guess, when it comes to hockey. And it's, it, it cleans it up. It does make it a little bit clean. Uh, white, I mean, if, if, if the primary color here was white, it might blend in a little bit too much with the logo. Obviously, those white stripes would have to become gray. And I think maybe they get lost a little bit. So I think they made the right decision here going with a really light gray. It's also very unique in the AHL as well. And I like that. Uh, everything looks proper with this jersey. I think that's maybe the best way to sum it up. The striping is fairly generic, but it's not offensive. The logo looks good. The gray looks good. The shoulder patches look good. Um, it doesn't have rounded shoulders, but you know, that's, that's kind of more of an AHL thing. And I understand that uh, there's not too many squared off shoulders in the AHL, maybe not even any, but so I know I'm in the minority there. I prefer squared off shoulders, but we'll say, okay, we'll give a thumbs up to the rounded shoulders here. Let's go to the next photo. And that's just a close up of the San Jose Sharks logo on the shoulder. Now I will talk about this just briefly in the sense that uh, there are teams in the AHL who take a different approach. So for example, in this uh, Springfield Thunderbirds one, they pay respect to the St. Louis Blues on the shoulder here, much like the San Jose Barracuda do on this uh, new, new jersey here. But I have this one here, which is the Milwaukee Admirals, and they do not have any kind of NHL affiliation on the shoulder. Now, I know some teams switch that up uh, depending on the year, depending on who they're affiliated with. A team can go from being affiliated with one team to the next season being affiliated with a completely different NHL team. So, you know, maybe there's some reason behind that. But I love the fact that the San Jose Barracuda are paying respect to the San Jose Sharks, showing off that affiliation. And I think that's one thing that the AHL does really well. With some of the teams, or some of the leagues below that, like we'll even use like, I think it's the OHL, the Kitchener Rangers. I think the Kitchener Rangers are in the OHL. It kind of just looks like the, the New York Rangers jersey. And that's great, but I feel like they don't have their own identity. With the AHL, I feel like the teams do a really, really good job having their own identity, but also paying respect to that affiliation of the NHL team. And this is the perfect example with the San, with the, uh, San Jose Barracuda. Next, we've got the back of the jersey. So we've got the numbers there. We've got the uh, the name. The numbers being white outlined in, in uh, the black look okay. I'm, I'd be curious to see what they look like in the teal instead of the black. I don't know if it would look better. I'd have to see it to make a decision, obviously. But I feel... Like, maybe it would look a little bit better. You've got the teal on the top. You've got the last, or one of the last stripes on the bottom being teal. So having a little bit of teal in the back, in the middle there, and the numbers, I think would maybe balance it pretty nicely. But the black, it, it, it looks it looks good. No, you know, nothing really to complain about there. And then the next photo we have is just a close-up of the logo. Looks amazing. I really, really like this logo a lot. So often, uh, logo designers or teams in general can will have, like, a textual aspect to their logo and also a graphical aspect and to meld those two together and, to, and have there be a relationship, it fails more often than not, I think. And here, I feel like it doesn't feel. I feel like the relationship between the S and the J meets beautifully with the actual Barracuda holding the hockey stick. There's just some pretty good relationship happening there, so it looks good. So let's go back to the first one, which is the overall uh, look of the jersey. This jersey doesn't get me out of my seat, doesn't make me start dancing, but I do like it. I would probably give it about a 7, 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a good choice for them, and there's nothing specifically that I really, really dislike about it other than the egregious ad that's on the front, but times are changing, right? So anyways, thanks for watching. Please let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think of this jersey? Would love to hear your thoughts on this. And uh, it's been a couple days since I made a video since last Friday, actually. It's been about 
four or five days, I guess, since we last spoke. So got to get back on the horse here with this one. You'll get a video from me tomorrow and obviously throughout the week and maybe also this weekend. But uh, I appreciate you watching. Hope your summer is going well and I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.